What's up everybody? My name is John Evans. In this video, we're going to be talking about French cleat storage systems. Oh no, another French cleat video. Well, let me tell you what's going on. I was recently watching a video from uh, John Heinz, hopefully I pronounced that right. Sorry if I didn't, on his uh, I Build It Scrap Bin channel. And in that video, he was talking about how he really dislikes French cleat systems. Totally not knocking them. I, I really can't even disagree with them. They, they may have their issues. What he was talking about is, you know, potentially in your shop, you'd be walking by, run into your French cleat system and knock everything off the wall. I agree, that may happen. But, you know, it got me thinking. You know, maybe I can come up with a solution. So I, I think I have one. So in the rest of this video, you'll be seeing me putting together this little basic demonstration. Even though I'm not even ready for my French cleat wall just yet, you know, still have to put up insulation and some paneling before I even get there. I just, I just had to get this done. So again, you'll just see me putting this together and then at the end, I'll tell you what's going on. For now, let's get started. Okay, so we've mounted the tool holder back up on the wall here along with the little bracket. And I'm sure you've already figured it out, not that hard of a concept going on here. All you have to do is swing this little bracket on down and that locks it in. So this side locked in, this side locked. So obviously you can repeat it on this side and have the whole thing locked in. Pretty simple. So I think at this point in time we're going to call this a little experiment done. Hope you all have enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. Hope you all enjoyed and catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. 